Boom. We've got us a set power fridge and a fridge cover. I'm, uh, I'm excited for this. So I actually had two fridges prior to this arriving. I had a, uh, let's see, a Snowmaster and an Iceco. Iceco was in the Conqueror, Snowmaster was in the truck. Um, I ended up trading that Snowmaster for some work that I got done on the truck. The guy happened to be an Overlander and uh, it saved me a little bit of money to do that. And so I've only had one fridge, the Iceco, great fridge. It's big, it's heavy, dual zone, move it back and forth between the Conqueror and the truck, depending on what the trip is. And I just wanted a dedicated fridge with a cover. Remember, I run a bed rack on my truck, so it's exposed to the elements, so I wanted it protected, hence the cover. And so we're gonna box this dude and put it in the truck and see what we think. Let's open this cover first. We got some literature, pretty straightforward stuff. Basically, uh, put the cover on the fridge. And then we've got the cover. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out of this uh, plastic. And then we're gonna set this to the side. Now, let's get into the main attraction here. If you notice me struggling with this knife, it's because I'm using one of our dull um, kitchen knives, not one of my good Pruitt knives, the Valor knives. If you don't know about that, you're living under a rock or you're, <laughs> you've been shadow banned by Instagram. Aha. Okay, so this fridge comes with some items that I won't necessarily need. I want to say this might be for either the handle or the wheels. Uh, and this has the ability to kind of tow it around like a, like a cooler on the ground, which is super cool, but I don't need that. I've got a fridge slide in the back of the truck. But we're gonna see if we can just pop this dude. Oh man, the bottom came off. Was that intentional? I wanna say that might've been intentional. If so, hats off the set power for the stellar design. Let's get this pretty here. And I'm struggling. Fast forward to when this looks beautiful. Ah, so nice and clean. So lid opens this way. You can slide the lid off and move the brackets to the other side if you prefer to open the other way. For me, it actually makes sense the way that it came. So I'm gonna leave that the way that it is. All right, over here, we've got your power cable. We've also got like, wheels and some of the hardware for that. Now, like I mentioned earlier, none of that's really relevant to me. This handle, as cool as it is, also isn't relevant to me. So we're gonna take it off. Now there are four screws per hinge and two hinges per side. So if my math is right, that's 16 screws. And I'm not gonna make y'all watch this. So camera magic. That should be done. Pull that off. That actually wasn't sped up at all. That was real time. I'm the fastest guns in the West. <laughs> and those, those screws just went everywhere. You know, we're professionals over here at Baker Overland. Okay, so I do have a manual power cord. And guys, this is, this is, a, this is it. Oh, and we have the, the cover. Let's do that real quick. I actually stopped the recording because I thought they sent me the wrong size cover. This is what you get for not reading the instructions. Read the instructions and it turns out, it says this zipper along here is to expand it to fit the larger fridge. So I uh, wanted to record again because I felt like this might be something that's useful if you guys are getting a set power fridge. You know, if you read the instructions, if you're not like me, you won't, uh, you won't need this information. Okay, so now this should extend up higher. It grows! <laughs> uh, I'm an idiot. <laughs>
Then over here, we're gonna feed this down through this. Now our handle is through. And now we're gonna zip this top portion up. I love how it keeps all this protected. You've got this over your controls, which is great. I wasn't doing that when I ran my ISCO. Fixing to take this out to the truck, but Lucy, what do you think about this new refrigerator? I, I hate it. Should we put some popsicles and like snacks in it for you? And then go camping? Oh man, that sounds fun. Okay, let's go put it in my truck. Let's go. All right, Lucy, now we're gonna clean off our fridge slide and bring this over here. Some of this yucky dirt up. Doesn't have to be perfect. This is going under a fridge. Something I just realized is the plug for this is in the front of the fridge, and that's good. I mean, that keeps it uh, protected because it's inside the cover, but I got all this put on with the cover on it and realized I couldn't access the plug. So if you're doing this, just make sure you get this cable in here first. It's right down here on the front. Make sure it's fully seated, and then you can pull that cover up and get it all buttoned in. That's what I'm gonna do now. All right, let me bring you in closer, you can see this. So on this side, you've got two baskets, small basket and kind of a, a taller one that fits a little further down. Then you have your divider and your freezer basket on the other side, which is held into place. I guess if you wanted to use this all as a one zone, you could pull this divider out and have a little bit of additional space. We've got our two zones here, we can set them. I'm gonna set this. I think this is degrees. Let's see here. Eco, max, we'll do 32, and we'll just set them to the same for now. All right, so we are four or five hours in the future. Uh, let the fridge go ahead and plug up, cool down a little bit. Now, something to note, I put this on the max setting to cool it down the fastest. It was like 75, 80 degrees outside. If you're coming down from room temp that's in that range all the way down to like 30-ish and you set it to max, it's gonna chew through some battery. I uh, used my Elec Hive here and it ate like 10% of that battery. It's a 2,500 watt battery. And normally I could run a fridge for like three days on 10%. So it's just something to point out that this will eat through some battery on that initial cool down. But once it's cool, it doesn't use much power. Now, one thing to note, when this first comes, it, I think it defaults to having one zone at like 40 degrees and the other at zero degrees, like a fridge freezer uh, kind of traditional setup. I changed that, set them both to 32, plugged it in and hit the max button to cool it down. Um, but it didn't take, it went ahead and still cooled to the factory settings. But I found that if you power the fridge off and then power it back on, whatever temps you set actually do take. There may be a better way to do that. I didn't read the manual. If you know how to do it, Tell me down in the comments below, but that's how I figured it out. Speaking of power, I wanna talk about how I'm gonna actually power this whole thing on the trails. So I've got this mounted on an alu cap slide, tilt slide, love that thing. Um, my plan is I've got two 200 watt solar panels that are gonna go up on the roof, run into a controller, and then go straight to my Elec Hive battery bank. Now, you could use car batteries and do like a actual install, installed, like permanent, semi-permanent setup. I'm gonna be making some changes to my setup here pretty soon. So I just didn't wanna like go super over the top. The trips that I go on, uh, I mean, without the solar, this will run my fridge for five days. And that's like, you know, I normally don't go on trips much longer than that. Uh, but the solar will extend that even more. So for me, I've got all my bases covered just with those two panels and then with, uh, the controller in this. So that's how I'm gonna run it. And speaking of the Linsun solar panels, I did a vo uh, video a while back showing the hood panel installation, the ones that kind of top off your, your starter battery. Um, if you guys are interested in getting those installed the right way, not just like some double-sided tape in your driveway, but actually like a, you know, a permanent installation that's gonna last, where they put the actual like RV silicone, in, you know, around it and keep dust from getting on there. And I mean, I've heard a lot of guys complain that the, 
that the vinyl peels or that the panels eventually come up. And that's just because it wasn't installed professionally. If you do it professional, nine times out of 10, that's not gonna happen. And anyways, if you're in Northwest Arkansas or, or anywhere in this region and you want to have those panels installed correctly, I'm actually here at OZK Vans right now. I was just doing a photo shoot of a van and these guys do that work, not just for vans, but also overland rigs like this. They're very capable, very talented. They know the space well, and they're one of my channel sponsors. So if you want to click the link to their website down in the description below, hit them up for anything, custom solutions or just uh, you know the, the plug and play stuff. You can buy product from them, um, or if you're not sure what you need and you want to brainstorm, call their shop manager, Alex. That guy is a, he, he's a wizard. He knows everything. And um, I, I love working with them and I'm thrilled that they have uh, partnered with the channel the, in the way that they have. Speaking of sponsors, I wanna thank all my sponsors, the people that help make these videos possible and are supporting what we're building. We got a lot of cool stuff in the pipe that I'm excited to share. I've been gone for the last five, day, five days shooting something that's gonna be unveiled at more uh, and I'm, I'm thrilled to be a part of that project and want to tell you more. I've got a members only video out about that actually. It gives a little bit more behind the scenes that I shot while I was in Missouri working on that content. So if you want to become a channel member, you can just click that join button and then you'll get access to all of that content, including the last members update, which is out on the channel now. I appreciate the members, sponsors, all you guys that are supporting. I'm just blown away the fact that anybody is contributing the way that they are. And uh, I'm going to keep trying to make cool content, make you guys proud. This is just a fun community, fun space, and I'm honored to be a part of it. Like and subscribe, help me hit 10K, I'm getting close. That's all I got for this one, you guys. I'm gonna pack up and head home. The more you camp, the less deer the aliens abduct.